Hey guys, this is Full Stuff Incorporated. I'm here to talk about my new Fluffle Deck profile. And as you can see, they've gotten better and worse in this game. I mean, just because targeting and popping are much more relevant, that's like Cosmos and Fluffles can actually do better. Because it's no longer just non targeting removal, because Zudi has to do targeting and popping, and they're still somehow tier zero, which in itself is incredible. And honestly, Fluffles are pretty much made to break first turn boards. Because you have cards like Fright for Tiger, and the new support, like with cards like Fluffle Octopus, Fluffle Penguin, and Kraken, which can just help you start cracking some boards. <laughs> uh, bad jokes aside, Fright for Tiger is amazing in this meta. It's probably the best aside from Sabretooth because you can pop cards on your opponent's side of the field, legal to the amount of fusion materials used to summon it. Getting, using like three or four materials is going to be a huge blowout to your opponent. Just because they probably can't stop it if you use cards like Fluffle Cat, Fluffle Octo, or Fluffle Penguin. Just, there's quite a bit of more important Frifers. Like, Sabretooth can avoid being destroyed whatsoever if you use three materials, at least. And if you use more than three, I don't know what you're doing. And Fluffle, and no, Frifer's cheap. Because, you know, if it gets popped, it can summon itself back with more attack points. So, Dryden is not a problem in this deck, and neither is Solemn Strike. But the biggest one easily is Dimensional Barrier. Which is why I'm running Twin Twisters, because, you know, I'll probably go up to three Twin Twisters just so I can avoid Dimensional Barriers. It's just really annoying to face. Not to mention this deck can now make Toad. I still hate the Toad, but, you know, gotta use it, right? And, uh, <laughs> and it's easy to make number 38 in this deck as well. So you could probably run Kaijus in here. Do as you may, but I feel like that Kaijus is not the best thing in the meta right now. I mean, it's great, but, you know, in this meta, it's not too great. I mean, this like Infernoids can easily recover from it. Anyway, another card I put in here is Dark Fusion, just because... It prevents the fusion monster from being targeted on that turn, so Dryden can't pop it. Not to mention that, you know, it's another fusion card. So you'll more than likely not have to search for Polly if you if you don't need to. So King of the Swamp can be a fusion material for Fright for Tiger to be summoned easier. So I feel like I, with this deck so far, until I make a side deck, I feel like this is the best game one, turn one, game one deck I can make right now. I'm going to find room for Maxi and Ghost Ogre. But until then, this is my build, and I'll be playing the crap out of it until I improve it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys like it, do to hit that like button and subscribe. Join the Fright for Army, and together we will beat the meta. Talk to you guys next time, and hopefully you will enjoy the two replays I'm about to show you in the next two videos. They'll be over Brilliant Fluffles and Shadal Fluffles, aka Barnyard.